Welcome on channel Droneburst. This is the product review series. We're going to review the EUSD, which is a Hobby King product, and I will show you its basic parameters and how you can wire that. This on screen display is capable to serve any two or three cells lipper battery, so the maximum voltage is 12.6 volts. You can use it with a single battery or you can use it parallel with two batteries. I will show you how you can do that. Both should be two or three cells batteries. It displays the voltmeter and a stopwatch is started when you power it up. Supports the NTSC and BAL. Also, and its big advantages, it's lightweight, so 3.3 grams only. As I mentioned before, you can use the EUSD with one single or two batteries parallel. This is an example when you have only one battery and you're going to power up the aircraft, the video transmitter, the camera and everything else with that main battery. So as how it looks like, the yellow one is the battery, the blue is the EUSD and the other two greys are the video transmitter and the camera. In that example I'm using a uh, Boscam TS832 for video transmitter. And let me highlight here that in that case when you have only one battery you going to not use the battery one line of the EUSD you should you need to use the battery two so you connect it to the battery positive and negative side and the video transmitter itself is going to be connected to the main LiPo battery and after that the only thing that you need to do is between the video transmitter signal cable which is the yellow and the video transmitter ground cable which is the black you need to connect it to each other with the EUSD as how it looks like so in that way you will get a stopwatch started and a voltmeter highlighted on the screen the second option is when you would like to use two batteries parallel so for example one to power up the aircraft and the second one to power up the video transmitter and camera the only difference uh, against the previous side is that that you need to connect the second battery directly to the battery one line of the EUSD. The zigzag where you can see would like to demonstrate that you cannot connect the two batteries with each other you just need to directly connect the second battery to the positive and negative side of the battery one line of the EUSD. Let me show you how you can change the position of the voltmeter and stopwatch values. So here you can see that at the top of the uh, screen you can see the stopwatch and the voltmeter and at the back of the OSD there is a button which you uh, push for a few seconds a menu item uh, will be displayed and after that you can push uh, the button many times and it will put down and down, move down and down the stopwatch and the voltmeter. So this is how you can uh, find the right position which you prefer to use. Actually I prefer using when uh, all the info are highlighted at the top of the screen. Like this. Please subscribe, feel free to share these videos and do not forget to raise your questions or comments. Thank you for watching.